Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. I am the mom to eight kids. The baby is not eating food yet, so there are just nine of us eating this grocery haul that you're going to see today. If you want to see exactly what we had before we went on this trip, I will put a link in the description box below to the tour of my pantries, my refrigerator, and my freezer that I did just before this grocery shopping trip. Um, pardon the baby noises in the background. She's playing in her little baby bouncer right here. Um, okay, so what are the things I need to share with you? We live out in the country and we have a lot of chickens and so we get close to a dozen eggs a day so you won't see any eggs on my grocery haul. We also get fresh milk delivered from a local farmer and my husband and my older kids volunteer at a local food pantry and so a lot of times we will get sent home with random produce that needs to be eaten. They volunteer weekly and so that is something that you're not going to see much of in this grocery haul is um, the fresh produce because they've been getting it from there when they go once a week. All right, this is our Costco haul and our total was $524.11. I have a little helper that I picked up here. So if you see me wiggling, that's the reason why. Okay, in the back we have cat food and dog food. We also got a big package of toilet paper, which is not pictured here. But I wanted to mention that before I forgot. I am planning to make some big batches of granola, so we got two of these oats. This is five pounds, so that's a lot. Of, actually, it's ten pounds, two five-pound bags in each, so that's big. Twenty pounds of rolled oats. We have one more package, a three-pack of the marinara sauce, apple cider vinegar. This will take us ages to go through, but they only sell it there in a three-pack, and it's a really good price, so we got that one. I have some honey left, almost a full one. We went through one and a half last month so we got just one more honey I will use that to make this granola the kids put it in yogurt we bake with it when we make muffins all kinds of things this back here is a let's see if I can move this so you can see it maybe this is an organic lemon juice that we use with a little bit of stevia to make a refreshing drink put it with water it only takes oh boy just a few tablespoons of lemon juice and a few little scoops of stevia in a full um, my full pitcher of water so that goes a long way this is avocado oil that's what we've been using for baking and frying we really like that another parmesan this is the rest of my dairy I have cream cheese sour cream the yogurt I will just use for making yogurt you need just a little bit of the Greek yogurt I use about a tablespoon per quart of milk so the milk that we get from the farmer will be used to make more yogurt two of these two pound packages of cheddar and I've got eight pounds of organic butter. Did you learn how to blow bubbles? Are you blowing bubbles for us? All right, chocolate chips, raisins down here. My kids can blow through some raisins so fast. I will put those into portions and hide them. Otherwise they'll be gone in a couple of days. We have two bags of the gluten-free flour. I am um, up and running with my sourdough starter. Today I will be baking my first loaf of bread. And I had already bought the flour for that, which you can see if you check out that pantry tour. But just in case I want to make muffins and things, I got two bags of this. Also, we have more baking crumbles. We like to put these in everything from omelets to potato soup or on top of a baked potato bar. There's so many ways you can use those. They're just nice to have on hand. Two of these cacao powders. And we found out when we were checking out that it is actually a product that has been marked to be discontinued or sent out of stock. She didn't exactly know why but I might have Jason go back to a Costco and get a few more bags of that because we really like it. It was a great price and it's very yummy and I'd be sad to lose that. So we may stock up on that a little bit. I'll let you know if we do. <laughs> I haven't gotten to that yet. You gotta let me film it first, then no, you can eat it. Film it, then I can eat it. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, grab it. He's asking for some dates. We found some dates here, which were only 20 cents an ounce. So that was a pretty good price for organic dates. Okay, go ahead and take it, buddy. 
All right, we have two of these spring mixes and we also got romaine hearts. Two of these big six counts of romaine hearts. Those will make up the salads for the month. Then we have some sweet Italian sausage. I use this in recipes, so it just adds some really yummy flavor. Uh, like I make a butternut squash soup and I put Italian sausage in it, things like that. Four containers of peanut butter. And then for my frozen vegetables, we have two strawberry and two blueberries. These are mostly used in smoothies. That's the main reason that I got those. Occasionally we might throw some blueberries in pancakes. We have some green beans, a big bag of mixed vegetables, and Brussels sprouts back there. And we have two of these big bags of sweet potatoes, some more bananas, two packages of celery sticks. This is a big bag of onions and then some mandarin oranges. And that's what we got for the produce this time. Snack foods were on instant rebate. All of these were just $3 and some change a bag and they are huge bags. So I went ahead and stocked up. One of the days my daughter has to bring a snack to her troop meetings. And so one of the bags will go for that. And then they're just nice to have on hand if we just feel like we want a little junky snack food that's not so terrible for you, then we'll pull those out. Silas, are you trying to be creepy like Leo was in last month's video? <laughs> yes, he was. Go back and watch it. We also got this treat, which is completely gone. We had that on the way home, and they are delicious. If you're looking for a gluten-free snack, uh, yum. Very good. Okay, my husband and I have one date night planned this month, and so we're going to let the kids have pizza while we're off having something fun. And I think that's all we have for our Costco trip. So next I will show you what we got from Trader Joe's. It is a few days later and we actually never made it to Trader Joe's. It's just got, the week got crazy and we never made it there. Last night the kids had their troop meetings and so I just ran into a nearby Aldi. I purchased some lunch meat and cheese which we ate right away because we had a crazy day and we didn't make dinner before that. And so that's kind of like our fast food when we have those situations is we will go into an Aldi and get some lunch meat and cheese and roll it up and munch on it. So we did that and we also got um, a few things and I'm just going to call it good and not go to Trader Joe's right now. My main main thing that I wanted at Trader Joe's was gluten-free pasta because they just didn't have any at Costco. And so Aldi has this kind. We'll give it a try. These are... Um, how many pounds are in this bag? I don't even know. Oh, it's just a pound bag. Okay, so... I got five bags of this kind and then two of this penne pasta. They were, I believe, $3 a bag. My whole total was about $42, but like I said, the meat and cheese has already been consumed. Also, they ate a whole bag of apples, and I had purchased two bags of apples that night. So this is what's left from yesterday and today. Uh, it made a good, good meal on the go for a family of 10. I got a few more bananas because, you know, anytime you're around bananas, you buy bananas. And um, a bag of this just for an option. So that's what's left there. Then in addition, I received a few things from Amazon this month. These are the grocery items that came in on my Amazon subscribe and save. And I will pop up the uh, prices, the totals for each one of these because they all come individually, so I don't know what the combined total is, but I will include that. I got two of these just to have on hand in the pantry because they're half the price of buying them at the store. Gluten-free cake mix. It's just good to have on hand. Two of these organic palm sugars and one stevia. This is the stevia that we really like, and I will put links to these items in the description box since they are from Amazon. This is the stevia I've used for years. A lot of stevias you buy at the store are not just stevia. They have other things mixed with them, so you have to be careful. But I have used this one for many, many years, and uh, it lasts us months, this container, because you use such a tiny amount. In addition to that, we just got um, some vitamins from Amazon and some flossers. If you're interested in seeing those kind of things, not my normal grocery items, um, let me know and I can do a video of just items we get from Amazon. It's not a huge amount, but it is something. So let me know if you're interested and I will show you that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.